Hi everyone, welcome to today's app review. We're taking a look at Rage HD. And if you've heard anything about Rage already, and you probably have if you've been following iPhone apps, it's that the graphics are quite something. And that is indeed the case. I would say it's near a console level, if not a console level, experience on the phone. So that's the story on graphics. But let's talk a little bit about the gameplay. It's a shooter, first person shooter, and you are on rails on this one. So you're gonna move around and you can target a few different ways. You can set this all in the settings. You can either tilt the phone to target or you can uh, move your finger around on the screen to kind of dock and look left and look right and that sort of thing to, to get your targeting correct to take on the mutants. And there are a lot of mutants and they come fast and furious. Uh, again, as you can see, the gameplay, the, the graphics look good. The game itself, it takes a little getting used to. It's just, it's gonna be a challenging shooter, I'll tell you that, especially with the different targets. Uh, in addition to the mutants that are gonna try to get you, there are targets located around the different scenes and shooting those targets gets you additional points as well as you've got you you know, power-ups and health uh, bonuses and that kind of thing. So at any rate, it is a challenge. It looks great. It's challenging. I personally don't find it quite as fun as something like a zombie crisis in which you're simply tapping on the enemies to shoot them. But again, that's a, a personal preference. So it definitely shows what you can do with the iPhone. The most impressive thing with these graphics is that you get these graphics, and even on this iPhone 3GS, it's completely smooth. You don't see any uh, choking on the graphics, stuttering, that sort of thing. While you're playing. So that's a quick look at Rage HD for the iPhone, iPod Touch, and iPod. For the digitallifestyle.tv, I'm Ryan Ritchie.